has a unit rate and it doesn't deviate, then when x is 0, y is 0, 2. It's a proportional situation, you need no more confirmation. So to find the unit rate, here's what to do. You can find it in the table. It's easy if you're able to find what is y when x is only 1. You may need to use division to find your answer with precision. But when you've found your multiplier, the job is done. You can find it in the graph. It's so easy, you will laugh. Just look on the line to find where x is 1. At that point, find the value for y. x goes right and y goes high. If this were a race, you'd have already won. If it has a constant rate and it doesn't deviate, and when x is 0, y is 0, 2. It's a proportional situation, you need no more confirmation. So to find the unit rate, here's what to do. You can find it in the equation if you're given the occasion. This may be the simplest trick to date. If x is multiplied by a number, you could do this while you slumber, then that number is your unit rate. To find in the situation takes a little more attention, but some keywords will help find clarity. Phrases like for every or per will frequently occur to show the constant of proportionality. If it has a constant rate and it doesn't deviate, and when x is 0, y is 0, 2, it's a proportional situation, you need no more confirmation. So to find the unit rate, it's up to you. Yay!